guys, Mike the Bone here. How you all are doing today? Right, today's little lesson on the old wee string cigar box guitar is a good old Clearance Clear Water Revival song. This is gone. Have you ever seen the rain? Which we've seen plenty in the UK over the last couple of weeks. Um, so, okay, you've got your cigar box um, tuned to open G, which is G, D, G. And the chords you're going to need for this are G, D, B minor and E minor. That's all you're going to need for this one. Um, there are a few chords in this one. Um, it's a bit difficult playing it just with one finger because there's an, um, an E minor. Um, as I say, it, it, it's, you really don't need to play the chords on this one. Um, so it, it starts um, in the G. So what I'll do is um, I'll run through it once, um, a verse and a chorus. And then we'll come back and break it down. And it goes like this. Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm But I know It's been coming for some time When it's over the sea and a chorus so as you see it's in the G it starts in the G and the G is the good old triangle shape which is the middle string fifth fret top string and bottom string seventh fret so it's the triangle shape which is the G and then it goes to the D which is the seventh fret all strings and then back to the G so the verse is just the G and the D I do the beginning I just do it round once or twice just to get into the song and I do a bit of muting, a little bit of muting, not a lot. Sort of some boot. G, then to a B minor, it's sort of a flash bit, well it's a B actually, it should be a B minor but I'm just doing a B to the E minor, so it's um, it goes C. I want a D, no, to the G, to the B, to the E minor. going to it so and simple really. Um, I'll come to a close-up so you can see what I'm actually doing with my fingers here. So here we are at a close-up um, and as I say it starts in the G which is you know the triangle shape fifth fret middle seventh fret top and bottom G and the D is the seventh fret all strings so we'll go through the verse and as I say I just sort of do 
this hand's just sort of up and down and muting. So I sort of have to practice that a little bit on your muting hand. And then you come into the verse. Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm to the deep Line it up back to the G And you repeat that again And it's over they say It ain't on a sunny day But I know It's shining down back to the G Now of course you've been to the C C to the D To the G B to the E minor Back to the C Back to the D To the G to the B to the E minor C D Back to the G So the B, the B is obviously just the 4th fret all strings and the E minor is 2nd fret mid middle string 4th fret top string and the bottom string open I think you could do it like that as well It sounds better like that so you see my fingers, so I'm on that one, and I'm on that one, and this one at the bottom's open. Over down long ago, there's a calm before the storm, and I know. When it's over, they say. It'll rain on a sunny day, but I know It's shining down like water Of course it's sea Sea I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? Coming down on a sunny day and when I do that sort of that I sort of just really hardly pushing down on them. To do this muting, the best thing is just to just to find a chord, doesn't matter what chord, even if you're just using any chord, just and just practice the muting. So I'm sort of coming down and then I'm bringing my hand down. And if you're clever enough, you can tap as well. Just gives you a bit of a beat. So the best thing is just to pick a chord and just practice this bit with a hand, just the muting. And practice is good exercise, just picking any chord you like up here and just practice your different things, you know, like I'm picking. Just get your hands used to it. Just get your hands used to it. Okay, sit back down. So see, it's a, it's a really, really, really nice little song. I say, it couldn't be simpler, you know, just in the, the G, the C, the D, so you drop to the B, and in fact you probably could get away without doing the B, I'm um, so I wanna know, have you ever seen the rain? Yeah, you could, you could actually do it without dropping to the B, um, and just going straight from the G to the E minor, holding on the G. great little song say so, there's sort of the, the verse goes around with the G and the D and then it's just the the chorus which brings in the C the D the G the B and the E minor great little song what can you do better you know great little song Queen's Clear Water Revival have you ever seen the rain right, okay that's it for me today great little lesson for you 
Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more um, lessons and updates. Um, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Mark the bone.